Hey everybody, it's Whitney from Dazzling Hospitality and today I'm going to show you how to do an easy Dutch Mohawk braid. This is one of my favorite trends right now. I love to rock this one when I'm off to the gym or just out and about with my kids, so let me show you how I do it. I like my Mohawk braid to be a little bit wide and chunky, so I'm going to do about a four inch um, in diameter width and that's just personal preference whatever you think looks best on you you can do but I like them wide so I'm gonna go ahead and just with a with a comb section off a nice big rectangular section okay and then I'm just gonna clip off the hair for a little bit so I can get the other hair out of the way Okay, so make sure before you braid that, that top hair is nice and evenly come through so that it's easy to braid. Drop it down, and then I'm just gonna take a small subsection horizontally from the hairline. So not too thick. Then I'm gonna split this into three even parts. Okay, so to do the Dutch braid, it's a lot like the French braid, but in reverse. So instead of pulling the hairs over and gathering them in as you would a French braid, you're gonna start by pulling the hairs under. So take that hair, pull it under the middle. Take the third hair, pull it under the middle. Now on that fourth pull over, you're gonna grab in a little bit from the side, pulling it under that braid. A little bit. Pull the hairs under. Grab a little bit more. And then just keep going little by little until you hit the, hit the end. Once you hit the end, just um, tie it off with a clear elastic. Okay, and I like my braids to look pretty wide and chunky. So to achieve that, I'm gonna start by pulling at the end of the ponytail, ever so gently, pulling it out, and then just working my way up to the front of the head. Another little trick, see this funny little bump right here? I'm not too in love with that. So instead of pulling it out and redoing the whole thing, I've got a quick trick. You just take a bobby pin, open it up, and then where that bump is, kind of push it in with your fingers. See. Opening the bobby pin, slide it in there under the braid, and then that just kind of fixes the problem and you can't even see the bobby pin. Today I'm gonna rock a top knot. So I'm gonna twist the top hair. And then since it's not a lot, I'm, I can hold it enough with a bobby pin. So just pin it in place. Okay, and kind of spread it apart, and there you go. Quick and easy, go rock your mohawk braid.